As of the 1st of April this year, there will be changes to the World Handicap System being brought in by the RNA and USGA. This could change your handicap. So here's what you need to know for the season ahead. As of the 1st of April, changes will be coming into play on how your course handicap is calculated on your day of play. And it's important to note that this won't impact your handicap index from the 1st of April, but it may impact the number of shots you receive as your course handicap when you're playing a golf course on that day. And this is because course rating minus par will be factored into the calculation of your course handicap. So your course handicap will be calculated by multiplying your handicap index by the slope rating of the tees that you're playing from and dividing that by 113. But additionally, you'll get an adjustment added to that and that adjustment will be the difference between your course rating of the set of tees you're playing from and the par. You can log on to the Scottish Golf app where you can look up your course handicap for any golf course across GB and I, which holds a current WHS and course slope rating. You can also check a number of clubs are updating their course handicap boards, which are normally positioned by the first tee. So you can easily check your course handicap there. One of the biggest misconceptions around the changes is the use of expected score when a hole is not played. Expected score is only used in exceptional circumstances when a hole is not played and it's used to scale up your score in the event that you've pre-registered for an 18 hole score, you've completed the minimum number of 10 holes, however you've been unable to complete the round due to either falling ill or injured or any other reason that's deemed valid by your club committee. It's important to mention here that you as a golfer do not have the choice as to whether you attempt a hole or not. It's under your obligations to return the best score possible in every hole and attempt each hole by returning a score. If you have the unfortunate circumstance of falling in, injured or ill, you have to notify your club to make them aware that you've not been able to complete the round. And what will happen then is that the system, the CDH, will automatically calculate an expected score for the holes that you weren't able to complete and create an 18 hole score for your handicap record. One of the other changes for this year coming into the system is the change of the PCC calculation, which is something that's been fed back on a regular basis from golfers and golf clubs that they'd like to see this to be more responsive. You'll be pleased to hear that there is a new calculation in place. It was in place at the end of last year and we hope that we'll see more of an adjustment being applied to scores. It's certainly something that we'll keep under review and we continue to liaise with the RNA and the USGA directly. If you regularly play in your club knockout competitions and specifically doubles in the four ball, then what you'll notice this year is a change to the way in which the handicap allowance is applied. What you'll do is take your full course handicap from the course handicap board and then it's a case of taking 90% of the difference from the low player in the group. Another change that you may have noticed uh, that's been advertised is now the inclusion of four ball better ball scores. So this is pair events and four balls and scores can count now for handicap purposes. So it's now mandatory for clubs running four ball better ball competitions to run them through competition software. As your pair, you have to have contributed to at least nine holes for the team score and the team score collectively needs to be at least six under par or 42 Stableford points and the individual score would need to equate to 36 points. If these triggers are hit, the score will be added to your record for inclusion as part of your 20 scores on your handicap record. To help prepare clubs and golfers for the season ahead, we've been busy as a team here at Scottish Golf. We've prepared a number of different guidance documents that you'll be able to access via our website. And we've been doing a tour of the country over the last couple of weeks, providing workshops to golf club administrators so that they are up to speed with the changes and how that impacts them as a club and also their members. We're here today at Kinross Golf Club, delivering two sessions, one this afternoon and one this evening and we hope that that will be an informative session for all involved. And just want to remind players that if you have any questions or queries, you can contact us directly and we'll be more than happy to help where we can. If you are sitting there thinking this all sounds rather complicated and you're worried that it's a bit confusing, don't worry. We've prepared a number of documents which should hopefully walk you through the changes and help you understand them. If you're concerned that you don't know what your course handicap would be, you can easily look this up via the Scottish Golf app. And the other changes are also detailed in a player guide that we've produced for you, which we'll link in the video today. From all at Scottish Golf, good luck for the 2024 season.